Welcome inside the Mountain West Network. Ted Sundquist, former NFL general manager and current Mountain West football analyst, and Jesse Kurtz here talking Fresno State football. Now, the Bulldogs are off this week, Ted, but certainly excitement has not wavered one bit for this program. They're up to number 14 in the latest BCS rankings, up three spots. This team is certainly on a collision course with the BCS bowl bid. You've seen this team in person this year. How exciting is this team to watch? This is an explosive energetic, very talented football team. On offense, they can score just about any way imaginable. Yeah. You talked about Derek Carr, 32 touchdown passes, leads the nation, only four interceptions. He is so protective of that football. Quick release, can make all the throws, and those throws go to a guy named Devontae Adams with 15 touchdown receptions. Guess what? That leads the nation as well. And if he has to turn around and hand it off, he's got a nice duo of running backs back there in Waller and Kazada. He's got a big tight end. The offensive line is anchored by Austin Wentworth, 32 starts there. They've only given up eight sacks. This is a team that I think on the offensive side of the football can hang with anyone in the country. No question. And from an NFL talent standpoint, where they project you have evaluated players throughout your career to see how they project to the NFL level. A guy like Derek Carr and Devontae Adams is a quarterback and wide receiver duo. How do they project to the next level? Well, I know when you start looking at the Mountain West sometimes and you compare it to some of the other conferences, you think, okay, well, these guys are, you know, maybe third, fourth rounders when we start looking at the SEC or the Big Ten. Ah, contraire. <laughs> these guys have the talent to be talked about in the first and second round. Wow. And any good general manager is going to find the right fit for his roster. And how could Derek Carr with that ability to throw the football, with the th to think on the field like a coach, and Devontae Adams to climb the ladder, go up and make those big plays that he does, outrun defenders down the field. How could you not talk about them in the top 60 players in the country? No question. Danny Cannell and many draft experts have Derek Carr right up there in the top five, maybe even top three of quarterbacks that will come out in this year's NFL draft. These players on Fresno State are on all kinds of watch lists and getting close to major season awards. Derek Carr on every quarterback list, the Maxwell list, the Davey O'Brien list, the Heisman list. you got Deron Smith, a free safety, who is a Mountain West Defensive Player of the Year, one of the top defenders uh, as far as interceptions are returned in the Mountain West. And then Austin Wentworth, you mentioned him. Fresno State's not giving up a ton of sacks right now, and it's anchored by that big left tackle in Austin Wentworth. Yeah, really. And again, a lot of the focus, like you did mention, is on the offensive side. The defense at times has given up some big plays. I've seen it. But at the same time, they can toughen it up. And you mentioned Deron Smith. He sits back there. He's got a great instincts and feel, comes up with the big play. And the thing about this Bulldog defense is when a play has to be made, someone steps up. They've found ways to win in overtime. They've found ways to shut down offenses in the second half. I'm impressed with their ability to make plays when it's crunch time, and that's Tim DeRuiter. I mean, he's a defensive coach. He takes a lot of pride in that side of the football, and you see it in the way that those guys step up when it's time to step up. Tim DeRuiter, one of the guys that is on the Paul Bear Bryant Coach of the Year Award. It just keeps coming for Fresno State. So exciting. And with that comes the projections for bowls, and Fresno State consistently projected as a BCS bowl team. CBS Sports com, si.com, Phil Steele, Yahoo.com all have the Bulldogs playing in the Fiesta Bowl against Baylor. USA Today has Fresno State in the Fiesta Bowl against Oklahoma State. Then there's a couple of publications, including ESPN.com and Sporting News, that have Fresno State in the Sugar Bowl against Auburn. Those are some pretty big teams and some exciting matchups for Fresno State. They have a game against New Mexico. They're hosting New Mexico Saturday, November 23rd, and they finish the regular season with a trip to San Jose State. And then if all things fall well for them, then they'll host the Mountain West Championship game on December 7th. So still some uh, hurdles left to clear, but Fresno State right now, one of the top teams in the country, and I think that's reflected in the BCS Bowl projections. For Ted Sundquist, I'm Jesse Kurtz. Thanks for logging on to the Mountain West Network.